on, Jonathan, pick up. You just can't stay away from him, can you? How long did you last? Maybe two weeks, tops? Mom, you don't understand. Oh, honey, I understand. More than you know. I understand that Jonathan hurt you so badly that you took out a restraining order against him, and now you're going back. Doesn't matter, because this time, he won't take me back. Jonathan is pushing you away? He doesn't trust that I'm not going to leave him again. But this time, it's forever. Well, forever is a big word, honey. No, he's not perfect, but I don't expect him to be. Well, that's good, because there is no perfect man. I love Jonathan, Mom. And I want to be with him. Yeah, we have problems. Just like you did with Hart and Richard and Edmund, even Jeffrey. But you know, if we really work hard, really try, maybe we can work through them. I don't want to cut and run every time something goes wrong. I want to deal. I, I want to deal, and I want to make it work. Tammy, I No, want... listen to me, Mom. You did everything you could to try to turn me against Jonathan. But I can't stay away from him. I won't. And maybe you want to lock me in the bedroom right now, but I... Tammy, can I, can I please say something? Please? <sighs> Honey. I am not going to try to keep you away from Jonathan anymore. Huh, no, I need information, not gossip. Well, why don't you go to the boarding house and, I don't know, break into Ava's room, go through her stuff? Isn't that what PIs do? Well, then do something. Hi. You don't belong here. Why not, lover? Real funny. Oh, relax. Tammy's not here. No, it's because I told her to leave. You did. Why'd you do that? Well, because she got a restraining order against me. What am I supposed to do? Ask her to stay? Admit it. It's me. You had one night with me. You've fallen madly in love. It's OK. I don't blame you. No, I think Tammy just needs to hurt a little bit so she understands how she hurt me. <laughs> what? And then you are just going to, you're just going to take her back? She's all I want. Then it is a good thing I got here when I did. You're about to blow it. Dude, you can't just take her back right now. You gotta, you gotta make her jump through some hoops, and I can help you. Don't do it. What? I can't help you? You want me to help you get Coop away from Ava. That's why you want me away from Tammy? Word of advice. Nobody comes between me and Tammy. You shouldn't either. You want me to be with Jonathan? No, I don't want you to be with Jonathan. But I won't get in the way anymore. <laughs> Why? What changed your mind? I don't like who I am when I'm threatening you. And my job as your mother is to help you grow up and let you make your own mistakes, your own decisions. And that is what I'm going to do. I love you. Oh, I love you so, so much. Yeah, I love you too. Life is short, honey. I've been reminded of that a lot lately. Ross is gone, and Sandy, and you just, you never know what tomorrow might bring. If my last words to you were, get the hell away from Jonathan and don't come home, I, I couldn't bear it. Neither could I. I'm gonna make this work, Mom, for all of us, I am. That is if, um, Jonathan ever comes around. Paranoid much? I just want you to understand. Understand what? That you're just as psycho as everyone says you are? That this isn't a game to me. Me either. I need Coop in my life. I don't care. Is this how you treat all of your lovers? Stop saying that word. I think that it sounds very cosmopolitan. Maybe a little creepy, but... I think maybe you're a little creepy. I think that you should leave right now. What do you know about breaking into a room? I know that I'm not getting involved in your issues with Ava. Lizzie, you and I are done. You think that you have this all figured out, but you are more screwed up than I am, and you know nothing about women at all. Well, that's not what you were screaming about the other night. 
Okay. Maybe you know a few things, but not about what goes on in their mind. If you are this easy, Tammy, she's going, she's going to take you for granted again. Listen to me. You need to make her want you. Want you the way that you wanted her. Obsessively. Passionately. Like a prize. Trust me, I know all about this. And from all your experience. <laughs> okay, how many times have you been in love? Mm, yeah, okay, see, I do have more experience than you, and I'm a girl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Tammy is nothing like you. Uh, okay, maybe she's not, but she's not like you either. You are hurt, you are angry, and you need to use that. You gotta make her suffer, Johnny. You gotta make her beg. You need to make her understand how much she hurt you and how much she needs you. Mwah. It's me again, Jonathan. Look, I get that you're mad about the restraining order, but just call me back, please. Uh, I've got a little something that might cheer you up. Two tickets to the police charity ball. Come on, we could get all dressed up and we could go over there. It's like kind of late. Yeah, so we'll, we'll make a grand entrance. We can flirt with a few cops. Are you serious? Yeah, I've been thinking I need to get out of the house and shake things up a bit, so come on, you can be my wingman. Any other night, I would say yes. What, but tonight you'd rather stay home and wait for the phone to ring? I can't help it, Mom. I need to act faster. I'm going to lose him. I need to make Jonathan see that I am sorry I hurt him and that I love him. But you know, how can I do any of that if he won't even call me back? Well, you could just tell him to his face. Hi. Hi. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Little mother-daughter bonding. She has been calling you and calling you. At least we know you're all right anyway. Please tell me you came so we can work this out. She pumping you full of reasons to leave again? Not this time. Really? We're okay, Jonathan. We're all okay. And I want you back. Are you coming back? I never left. I'm never leaving again. Ugh. Cops on the way? No. Nope. You got a gun in your purse? No, I am not gonna get in the way anymore. Nothing is, not ever, ever again. Let's go back to the bar, okay? I wanna move back in. We belong together. You know that too. I wanted to make you wait. I wanted you to prove yourself. I'll prove it every day. And I wanted to hurt you, but I don't wanna hurt you anymore. No. I'm ready to go. Hey, Mom, are you okay? Of course, I'm, honey, I'm fine. Look, you should go to that party. Uh, I think I'm gonna pass. No, no, you're not. You're gonna go upstairs and you're gonna put on your hottest dress. Well, I, I do need to shake things up. So you're gonna go? Yeah, okay. <laughs> Won't regret it. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Okay. Let's go. Hi, Cassie. Bye, Jonathan. I just, I have one question. What made you change your mind? A little, um, <clears throat> friendly advice from a friend. Nope. But I, I heard you, Jonathan. I mean, if we talk about it, then we can get we can get past it. I am past it. Okay, I'm I'm sorry about the restraining order. I'm sorry. I'm not gonna hold myself back anymore. We can make this work. It's just it's all about trust, Jonathan. Trust. Yeah. If we trust each other, if we trust in our love for each other, then. Even the stuff that hurts won't be enough to split us up. It's trust that's gonna keep us together. Doesn't that make sense? <laughs>